Hello. I have the first ever official cans from Remnant Brewing. This might be the closest brewery to where I live um, in Somerville. This is in Union Square. Uh, so this is like kind of their flagship beer, Dream Pop, dry hopped oat pale ale with um, mosaic and mandarina hops, 5.9% alcohol, canned 10 days ago. I actually had not even ever had their beer before. I went to the brewery today, had some of their IPAs on tap that were very hazy. Um, not bad, not, not my favorite. But I think this one's not supposed to be like ultra hazy, at least from the pictures I've seen it. It's supposed to be you know, uh, palatable, crushable pale ale or whatever. It's, they say it's smooth and juicy with local valley malt oats. Well, let's just jump into it. Ah, that's quite hazy. And from everything it says in the can, it is actually brewed and canned at their little tiny brewery in Union Square. There's a lot of a lot of the really small breweries around here. Contract brew um, at other places. That looks pretty good. The head uh, well, probably won't, won't stick around forever, but it's pretty nice. Quite hazy. I've been kind of lurking, looking, checking out, you know, reviews and pictures of beers from this brewery, and it seemed like they weren't um, super hazy for most of their existence. They have, they've only been around for like a year plus or so, but their beers maybe are getting a little hazier now. Hmm, smells pretty good. There's a lot of candy notes. The, the, the IPAs I had at the brewery today were quite chalky and bitter and dry and not as not not very fruity and this one definitely has like a cotton candy type smell <sighs> peachy not quite all out peach rings and you know candy orange notes <sighs> smells pretty good it smells like it's gonna be you know quite quite uh, sweet Mm -hmm. Not too sweet. And the oats seem to be <clears throat> adding a pretty good body for 5.9. The finish is quite, it's very candy-like. There's definitely a lot of candy flavors happening. <clears throat> Dream Pop seems like it's a appropriate name for it. And though it's quite hazy, there's no burn. Pretty nice. It seems, yeah, it, it, is, it is a little sweet. There's some spice that comes in. I like this blend of hops, though. Um, I'm not the hugest mosaic fan, but it seems like mosaic and the mandarina. The mandarina brings in a lot of more citrusy notes, whereas mosaic is, like, super big into the stone fruits and the berries. <clears throat> yeah, this is pretty different from the ones I had on tap, but uh, it definitely sets it apart, itself apart. It seems, you know, pretty pale ale-like. And it's surprisingly good mouthfeel. It's not velvety, but it's pretty soft and full. Yep, it seems like this is kind of beer that they've been tweaking, figuring out, and they did a really good job of uh, of canning, of canning it. Um, yeah, the, and the yeast isn't going too crazy. And that blew my mind, but. I do think it's better than the IPAs I had at the brewery. Or maybe those ones at the brewery, if you mixed them a little bit with this, like, because those are just, like, too dry. Like, it should have been more sweet there because they weren't very fruity, but this is quite fruity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's almost a little bit like some of the Hazy Session IPAs out there. Um, but, it's yeah, it's above that session category. And the heat just came on, so... And this review, this deserves at least a four. In a certain mood, maybe in the summertime, I would give this a four two five, and I would drink two of them very quickly. And there is even a little bit of an OD cereal-y taste going on. And I would, I grind this when it got distributed uh, 
to a very small footprint in the Boston area, I think, but it's definitely worth checking out.